How you doing there, fellow bank tanglers? I've owed some friends this video for quite a while. It's just a simple little example of how I tie pugly perch bugs. It's a little floating jig we use a lot. It is just a fantastic little lure and it is very, very simple to tie. It allows you to present a bait at various depths and it works great for bank fishing where a boat fisherman can vertically jig. That's tough for a bank fisherman. With this little floating jig, you can set your depths with it and uh, it just works really well. Panfish, trout, catfish across the board. And there's Cookie. Oh, that's Cookie, what you got there? Oh, you know what that means? Pugly perch bug. Oh, that's a nice perch too. That's what we've been looking for right there. Let's get a zoom in right there close. That is on a yellow body, kind of a black hackle looking thing. And that is gonna be yum yums for dinner. Sweet, get some more. Anyway, all you need to tie this, are some very simple items over here on the board. I've got some floating foam, some fly tying foam, different thicknesses, some two millimeter, some six millimeter, different colors. Just depends on what variation of the bug you want to tie. Really, the variations are just your own limit. I've got some thread. Colors are very, doesn't really matter that much. I tie it with all sorts of colors. It's just to hold it together. Waterproof glue, a little razor knife to cut the foam on a cutting board, and then some different materials for legs, little rubber. Uh, items for legs. You can see all sorts of different varieties that I've tied before. You know, I've used a little permanent marker to make dots on them for bodies or eyes. I've used hair, tinsel, different things, but I found that just to keep it as simple as one like this one right here works really, really well. Tip that with a little bit of bait, small piece of worm or mealing worm or something, drop that down there and vertically jig that present that to them. Boy, it's just a fantastic little lure. Let me show you how to tie one quick, real simple. <clears throat> All right, step number one is just to put your thread on there, just like you're tying any other, any other type of fly. This is a jig hook, and that's important. The jig hook's a little different than the normal fly hooks. We're gonna intentionally do this on a jig hook so that we can put this down and pin it with a drop shot sinker to the bottom of the wherever we're fishing, and then we can adjust that height up from that drop shot sinker to whatever height them fish are at, from anywhere from a couple inches off the ground to as far as you want to play it. You can even do a split shot sinker on it, or a sliding sinker on it if you want to. But we're going to just start with uh, just wrapping some thread. The color on this is strictly because it's easy for me to see, and I hope it shows up good in the camera. No particular rhyme or reason to that. Just going to wrap a few uh, passes over this body of the hook. And the purpose of that is just to give that foam some place to go, some place to hold on to. Get a few good wraps on there so we know we got something for that foam to hang on to. And we'll stop right there on the end. All right, this is a number four jig hook. And uh, you can tie these quite a bit bigger. I've got some really big versions for catfish and a few smaller for yellow perch. But uh, we're going to take some of that foam. And you see I've cut a, a thin a thinner piece here of the yellow and then a wider piece of the black. The yellow piece is going to get wrapped around as the body and the black piece is going to get pulled over the shell. So I'm going to put the black down first at the tail and the yellow on top of that. And then I'm just going to wrap that up there if I can get my little fingers to hang on to it. Just get it wrapped in there tight and use that thread to hold her in there good. A few good wraps on there. They're tight in tight. Then I'm going to bring the bobber up to the front. And I'm going to take this yellow and I'm going to start wrapping it around to form the body. Just make little loops like that around. There's a lot of different ways you could tie these. It's only really your imagination. The whole purpose is just to get a bait to float. And once we get it up there, I'm gonna tie that on top. Should have a little bit longer piece for wrapping that body, but you'll get the general idea of what I'm doing. I'm just gonna lock that in now, like that. Then I'm gonna bring the black part of that foam over top to create the shell on top. That adds a lot of additional flotation and it uh, gives you some great opportunity to put some bling to it if you feel the need to put a little bling on there. A few wraps around there to hold that head. And that's the second step. You got the body and the shell on. All right, step three is to get some legs on there. I've got some little 
rubber pieces I bought from the fly tying shop. I got all, all sorts of colors and styles of this and thicknesses, but I really like these rubber legs. I think they flop down there and get them old fish all excited and wanting to grab that bait before it gets away. So I just put a couple on that side, continue to wrap that into that body. Don't get too particular about how perfect it looks. I'll fix that in just a minute and then I'll get two more, put it on the other side. So I got four legs hanging off, two on each side, same basic idea. Give that a few wraps over here. And then I will pull them into position. Like that. And I'll get a couple there, a couple there. Get them moved into position nicely. Then I'll just kind of trim them. I don't want them quite that long. That might scare a perch off. We'll get them a little shorter than that. They're just gonna poke out all over and kind of bounce a little like that. Same over here. Like that. Yeah, I got some nice little bouncy legs sitting there for them perch to go into. And that's the next step. And I don't get too wound up about how perfectly they lay in there. That perch seemed to like them all over the place. So does everything else. All right, and the last step is just to whip it and glue it. I do not have my whipper with me, but that's all right. I tied a lot of flies out in the field without it, so a couple of wraps and around and a couple of times, and I'll make a homemade little whip on there. Pull her up on there a few times like that. A little bit of waterproof glue on there. She'll hang out. Now, I'm fishing for a lot of toothy critters with this fly, so... The simple fact is the foam's not uh, doesn't hold up extremely well after you've had a bunch of perch or walleye or chomp on it. The bass don't hurt them too much, but uh, I keep a bunch of them in the in the kit because they're fast to tie and pretty darn cheap. Man, they present a bait really well. So if you twist on there with the whipper, I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to trim that tail right there. And a few little dabs of waterproof glue. And I intentionally tied this one a little bit loose. Get some waterproof glue down there. Looks like I need me a new bottle of glue. That's getting pretty gelled up, but she'll work. There we go. And that's about all there is to it. Now, I, said I tied that one really quick just to give you an idea. I generally make a little bit thicker body just so it floats the bait better. This is a really nice example here. I uh, got the yellow body, black shell. That's probably my favorite. And a uh, little rubber legs on there. This one I got a little tinsel on there just to reflect a little bit of water. And uh, a little bit thicker body. Just that's a really, really popular one. I fish that one a lot. Another one that I've had good luck with is one I make with some Wookie hair. Uh, this one here, similar concept, white body. I put some permanent marker indications on it. And then whenever my German Shepherd sheds, I collect the hair and I use it for all sorts of fly tying, but it has just a little bit different look to it. So yeah, you can get pretty creative. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, let's see, uh, here's another example. Yeah, this is, a, this is you know, another yellow body black shell. Just really a, a great common thing. So anyway, that's really all I got for you. These are a fantastic little bait, panfish trout, walleye, catfish. I tie them up on great big jig hooks for big old uh, 35 inch channel cats. They just do fantastic on them, present a big old piece of cut bait. So great way for you bank tanglers to kind of even the odds when it's really tough to vertical jig. And uh, if you're not in a boat and it's tough to vertical jig, even with a slip bobber, it's tough to vertical jig from the bank. But this even the odds, it lets you vertically jig in the opposite direction from the bottom up to the depth you want. You can hold it in position with that sinker. I got a lot of videos where I show catching fish with it and how I rig it out on the line. So yeah, go and check them out. And there you go. Hope you have fun catching them.